good time. So we are topside of our beluga whale habitat. This beluga habitat is about 800,000 gallons of water, including naturalistic rock work, a shallow area, a deeper area, and it's meant to mimic their natural environment as best as possible. We've got our three belugas right here. We've got Maple. Maple is our adult female, she's 13. Nunavik is our adult male, he's nine. And then Kinu is swimming in the back over there. She's our other adult female, she's 10. Three little whales. Hello. Belugas are found in the Arctic and subarctic regions of the world. They're very intelligent animals. They're a very charismatic species, very naturally sort of curious. And so we try to use our sessions as a way to help keep them mentally and physically stimulated throughout their day. All right. Belugas in general have a reputation of being like slow because they're so big. But Maple is really lean and just kind of seems to have a lot of energy. So when working with Maple, I want to work on behaviors that are going to challenge her to problem solve, that are going to challenge her to learn. Maple is an animal that seems to really thrive on that learning. So even if it's just a brand new behavior, she's like, OK, like I'm ready to learn. Let's see, what, what are you going to teach me? That tells me, hey, I think she finds this reinforcing. This is great. This is enriching for her. So cute. Love her. All three beluga whales will be participating in the study. Maple has been doing a really nice job, so we're going to start off with her today. And we're working with biologists and researchers from the UC Santa Cruz to help benefit beluga whales in Alaska. There is a population of beluga whales that is endangered. The reason the population declined was because those animals were overhunted. They are protected now. They're no longer hunted. But we don't really know why this population isn't recovering. The metabolic study is just one element that we can do here to better understand how these animals take in and use energy. Because that's a measurement that's really nearly impossible to get in the wild. And so by understanding their metabolism, we can get an understanding of what they have to feed on in the wild, and is it enough? All right, Katie, we're coming over. Okay. Maple will swim into the metabolic dome, rest, breathe normally, just for about 10 minutes. Maple can breathe under the dome. It has hoses that are hooked up and it's pumping airflow through the dome. So, and you can see her, her air kind of fogs it up a little bit. Liz and Maple have been working together a lot on this behavior over the last several months. So to ask her to stop and kind of chill out for a little while. Here you go, Maple has been stimulating for her in a different kind of way. We're asking her to go from very high energy, bringing it down to a low energy. <laughs> Thank you. We're really excited to collaborate with the researchers at UC Santa Cruz at Long Marine Lab and hopefully learn more about belugas and be able to have an impact on, on those wild populations. You Yesterday was a really good start for this project. Our anxiety was a little bit elevated, and the belugas were sort of feeding off that a little bit. Today, we're hoping for things to be a little bit more normal and calm so that we're able to get really nice data points. Good to go. Yep. Make science happen. No pressure. <laughs> All right, you're good, Liz. All righty. With our first run with Maple yesterday, she was holding her breath a little bit more than we wanted to see, and she reacted to Katie standing up at one point. 3.30. So this time I'm communicating via text with Katie so we can eliminate any distractions. So she's asking how much longer that Jason thinks that we need to have her in there, so we're just communicating. 
I think another another couple minutes. Feels a lot more still. She looks really still. She looks awesome. She looks beautiful. How do you feel about another like minute and a half or so? Breath. There's there's a good chunk here that I think is going to work really well. Ten. Okay, you can end it. Nice job. Maple. Good job. I know. Good girl, Maple. I see you. Nice. Cool. Maple did amazing. She did her full 10 minutes. Set the bar high for the whole study. Groundbreaking whale right there. So that's pretty cool. Doing these kinds of resting measurements are the absolute hardest things for, for these animals. That said, you did amazing today. And so I think you just have set a terrific foundation. Yay! Yay! Oh, nice awesome. job, guys! Great. This isn't an easy behavior, but Maple did it, and I'm really proud of her because this research project is going to have a really big impact for wild populations of belugas.